Looking here at learning target number two, the idea here is radiometric dating, using information in the rock to figure out information about the rock, like age. So in order to do that, we had two variables that we were investigating. Um, and when we did our penny lab, we were seeing these variables as pennies, right? We had one known as the parent material. And that is shown on our graph over here with the blue line. And one known as daughter material. And that's our red line. And each one of these is what we call an isotope. An isotope is a version of an element um, that's still the same element, just a little different composition. And so here's the key ideas we wanted to know about these parent and daughters. Parent is what we see in the beginning. It's the original material. And by being original, it is what we call radioactive. And a lot of times we're worried when we hear that term, like radioactive, um, dangerous. Okay, some are, but in this case of the rock, it's not. It's a harmless thing that happens just as the, the atom transforms into its different version. And that different version is the daughter. That's the new stable material that forms over time as the parent decays into the daughter. Now what we notice looking at our data here is that each one of those amounts changes over time. The parent is our original material and so it's a, the rock has a hundred percent parent material in the beginning when it's created. And over time that parent material slowly decreases. Because as that parent material decreases, like we said, it's converting into the daughter material which increases over time. So the levels essentially flip-flop over time. And that flip-flop is what can tell us how old the rock is. And to do that, we use this term called half-life. Half-life is the time that it takes. So half-life is a measure of time. It can be hours. It can be minutes, it can be seconds, depending on what the element is. But the time it takes for half, that's our key word here, our key reminder, the time it takes for half of the radioactive parent substance to decay into the stable daughter substance. And so that's something that we will always get by looking at a graph like this one. So that half-life is always going to be um, right where the two graphs meet. So we can see here we're looking at a percentage of the sample here. So when we see the 1.0, we of course know halfway is going to be at 0.5, and that is right where the two meet when the parent reaches half of its material, the time it takes is one half life. And so that time can be used to figure out how old the rock is. So when elements decay, they give off this energy that we sometimes see as heat. But the most important thing is this half life, time it takes for half of the material to decay and therefore can tell us the age of the rock. So when you're looking at your learning target number two, we want to talk about that amount that is seen in parent and daughter, right? So what amount tells us half-life? Right? And what is happening with parent Oops, what is parent and daughter? So we want to kind of define each of those 
and explain how those get us to that half-life and tell us age. Really, age should be a key word here too. So remember, we're using all of these in our summary, use and highlight.